वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so friends we have understood the functional detail for fire protection system in previous video and we will continue to understand how the fire detection is there uh, in uh, turbine and what we need to do to keep our system healthy uh, to fight or to do fire suppression in case of any fire event and uh, for the previous video which is on functional detail you can find the link of that video in our description so uh, friends to understand how a uh, fire detection system is working in turbine we are having this section so how a sensor knows that there is a fire in compartment for that there are heat detectors installed in every compartment and uh, each uh, uh, the turbine entire system of turbine is divided into uh, different zones if we take an example of uh, g frame 9 machines so we can say there are uh, total nine uh, four zones zone 1 2 so it frame 9 uh, example if we take there are four zones and you can understand if there is a fire in uh, generator compartment there is no need of uh, putting uh, fire suppression system in auxiliary compartment so that is why which zone sees the fire alarm only for that zone fire suppression system will work and there is a uh, another point like uh, naturally you will understand turbine compartment where there is a combustion happening and turbine casing is there there will be uh, natural temperature difference if you compare with accessory compartment so that is why we have to keep a uh, different set points of these temperature sensors for different compartments or different area of uh, turbine so if you see uh, there is a accessory and turbine compartment in zone 1 but the temperature setting for both is different 163 and 316 so turbine compartment temperature which is on a normally higher side so that is why this higher uh, setting is there for a turbine compartment and similarly zone 2 which is a load gear compartment there also there is a very high temperature area so that is why this is uh, that kind of setting and uh, uh, on generator uh, compartment and uh, gas module there is a different setting and uh, how many sensor will have on uh, each zone or each compartment that will depend on the size and the compartment uh, volume let's say there is a very large area so you will have to put your sensor which covers the entire area such as uh, if it is a smaller area only one sensor can cover otherwise you will have to have a different uh, sensor so that it is uh, covering the entire area where you can see you can watch uh the temperature pattern with the non contact type temperature thermal uh, heat detector system so this is how the difference uh, between the setting for e zone are there and there is an important point which you may want to note that uh, there are different gas detection system is also there we should not be confused with this gas detection system with fire protection system this is a hazardous gas detection system which may uh be there because of fuel leak or any hydrocarbon leak and uh, there should not be there will not be any co2 system or fire uh, 
suppression system uh, uh, actuating based on this uh, hazardous gas detection. So now let us understand how uh, uh, the different alarms and uh, alerts are there which will let the user know that there is a uh, trouble in uh, fire uh, system. So there is an alarm like CO2 system trouble. So this is an alarm which uh, shows that uh, if there is any fault in the system or uh, uh, electronic fault, cable related fault, sensor related fault, if any is the, anything is there then you will have a uh, CO2 system in trouble alarm at uh, Mark 6 and then you have to go to check your uh, fire protection uh, system. For uh, my experience it was a Sanco panel where you will have a uh, description of that alarm and you can drill down what the what is the thing which is causing that alarm and you can check but on uh, gas turbine HMI you will see only one alarm which is CO2 system in trouble the second thing is fire pre alarm so this is a kind of thing which is giving you a kind of warning that uh, this um, uh, now there is a possibility of uh, this uh, fire alarm so let's say there is a two sensor uh, like uh, there is a one sensor at 316 degree and another is at 300 degree. So if this is crossing in uh, the limit of that particular zone but this is not. So you will have only alarm, pre-alarm. So pre-alarm is there which uh, will tell you okay there is one sensor which is out. This may be, uh, this sensor may be reaching the other sensor may be reaching the value in short span of time. So you may be prepared or you may lower down the load or you may check why this is happening. So that kind of alert is there. Now the second is that fire alarm is uh, appearing. This is a fire alarm. Now both the sensor, let's say it crosses 330 and then it crosses 320 or so. So both, uh, both of the sensors are reading the values which is higher than the alarm setting. So uh, this in this situation there will be a fire alarm. So two, any two heat detector system crossing the temperature setting of that particular heat uh, loop. And in that zone if both the sensors are going high then you have a fire alarm which will actuate your CO2 flooding system. CO2 flooding system and now CO2 flooding system if it is actuating or fire alarm is coming there will be multiple action also happening in your turbine such as uh, the machine will trip this will trip to further protect any fuel which is going on turbine and causing further damage so machine will trip and come uh, down to uh, your cooling uh, cooling down and uh, uh, I understand you know between uh, difference between uh, trip and uh, shutdown. So this is a trip. Trip it means uh, immediate, immediate fuel shut off, fuel uh, cut. But while in shutdown, it is happening like machine firing will continue fuel will continue till 20 percent of speed and then there will be fuel cut off so this is a trip so it will uh, immediately shut off the fuel valve and then uh, fire protection system which is co2 suppression system will actuate for a particular zone where there is a fire alarm and before that there will be uh, all uh, ventilation fan if it is running in that uh, uh, ventilation fans running in that particular zone will be stopped and all that uh, if there is a gravity uh, dampers that will be uh, closed once the fan is getting off otherwise there are some CO2 latch dampers also there uh, which will be closed when there is a CO2 flow and that CO2 flow causes the initiation of uh, closing of that latch. So those are the action which will happen uh, if you have a fire alarm and CO2 system 
actuation now let us uh, understand few important things so now once the co2 system uh, is released then you will have a co2 system released alarm so this is nothing but a acknowledgement that there is a fire happened and that co2 system is working so if you see uh, in your uh, co2 system there are pressure switches on the pipeline which uh normally normally those are on uh, no flow side but once there is a flow established from that particular uh, zone so that pressure switch will get actuated and will give uh, a signal that okay co2 system is released okay and uh, uh, there are other alarms also like if you have isolated any co2 system so that uh, for any zone there are manual isolation valve if you have closed that then also there is a alarm and uh, the general uh, fire alarm will also come if there is a any heat detection any heat detector which crosses the temperature uh, prescribed temperature for that alarm but there are certain very important thing which you have to keep uh, uh, in check so that your fire pit suppression system works uh, well in function so first one is your fire protection uh, sorry your uh, panel door uh, is in closed condition so that is not uh, that is saying that it is not in any maintenance at uh, uh the panel is uh, healthy and it is in working condition then there are different uh, small uh, ball walls which uh, act as a isolation wall for each zones so let's say uh, operator goes for uh, taking any reading or any observation so he may close that particular valve while he is inside for that safety that is correct well, but once he comes out he has to normalize uh, that valve if he forgets then uh, that co2 system is locked and isolated for that particular zone you will have this alarm appearing but let's say in this case any there is any fire or something so the that particular zone will be deprived of co2 flooding system and there is a common isolation valve also which is has to be open all the time uh, if you want to keep your machine uh, safe from uh, your this uh, fire system so i think uh, these are the thing which are very important for understanding the fire protection system the logics how heats uh, heat uh, detectors are there in the system and how they act and uh, uh, complete the entire fire protection system and uh, if you have any question please uh, ask in the comment section we will try to reply to those questions thank you thank you very much for uh, watching